Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at OpenRST2. Now, um, if you've ever made these big half loops, you know that making custom support for them really sucks. You can usually get it to a point where it looks alright from one or two angles, but usually from uh, the two other angles it will just not work very well. You can see an example here uh, where I just try to make a support that looks nice, but uh, from this angle it, uh, it actually works, from this angle it also uh, works, but from this angle it just doesn't really connect and yeah I tried a few other methods but uh, yeah usually you can get at a point where it's acceptable but uh, quite often I see players just leave a little gap and just uh, leave it like that now there's actually a method to make supports that uh, connect uh, from every angle and for that I'm going to use a little trick uh, here I made a little uh, uh, I made some track pieces of the, for the single rail cursor track. And um, what I'm going to be using is the fact that um, well, these diagonal track pieces they actually consist of four track pieces, uh, as you might be able to see in the tile inspector. And if I uh, hold control and select this track piece, you can see it uh, selects this track piece over here. And that is the only uh, part of this diagonal track that's actually visible from this angle. So, um, like I said, hold control, click this track piece, and if we then copy and paste this track piece, let's paste it over here. Um, now, what I did now is I only copied the part of this track that's visible from this angle. So if I rotate the map, you can see this track piece is no longer actually here. And only now you can see it again. And that's what we're going to use to make uh, some nice supports for this uh, loop. So um, I will copy this track piece, and we want. Uh, I want to have a support over here that uh, goes over, goes to this side, and I want to have one that uh, goes downwards here to the back. So let's uh, let's quickly make some uh, supports here. So I'll just uh, paste it uh, over here. It doesn't have to be exact because the height of uh, the track piece is only visible from one angle, so its height doesn't actually matter that much. Uh, the only uh, yeah, the only part that actually matters is if you want it to be in front or to the back of this uh, of this track. Now, I want the support to be uh, to the back of this track, so I'll just place it somewhere over here. Uh, I think I'll put it over here. I think it should go to the back. Let's do it. You can see it's to the back of the track. That uh, I think that looks will look uh, nicer. Okay, um, I want it to connect somewhere here at around the widest point of the track. Let's do somewhere over here. Okay, um, now we want to have a track piece that connects to it, so let's do over here. And I want to have a track piece that goes in front of this track over here. So I'll just place it over here. As you can see, it doesn't really matter where we put it uh, exactly. Alright, like that. Um, I think I'm going to move the support a little bit uh, lower, just so it looks like there's a little bit more clearance here. All right, now there's a lot more clearance here. And now we can also make a support here to the back. Now this one's mostly gonna be covered up by the track, but uh, let's place it anyway. All right, that's done. Now, as you can see, um, for some track pieces, it will also actually copy the support. So, um, yeah, and the supports actually stay visible also from other angles. So uh, if you see any supports left by these uh, by these uh, track pieces that you place, just uh, control click the support and move it on the surface. Now these other uh, track pieces on the style also draw support. So I'm just moving them all on the surface and now they're no longer visible. All right, now we have one angle of the loop uh, supported. Now, of course, these track pieces are only visible from uh, one angle, so we'll have to draw, make these support for every angle. Okay, I will now do uh, this angle. Again, we can just uh, control click the track piece here and copy and copy it, and then we can just uh, continue making these supports. Now, this one won't actually connect, so I'll place it uh, on a different tile. Just over here. Ok, 
Okay, and then we place uh, another one. No, I want this one to go in front. Cause this looks kind of silly. So I'll just place it on one of these tiles. You could even place it somewhere over here, for example. <laughs> I mean, they're only visible from one angle, so uh, it doesn't really matter where you place them. All right, and that's another angle done. So now we have this angle done and this angle. Now there's just two angles remaining. So I'm also going to quickly do those. Now, if I place the track piece here, you can see it will go into the ground and become shorter. That's not what I want. So I'll just place the few tiles lower and now it draws the full track piece. And now we just gotta do this uh, vertical one here. And this is another one of those angles that draws uh, support. So I'll just immediately move it on the surface. All right, perfect, that's another angle done. And now we do the final angle. Alright, uh, can sometimes be a little bit finicky, but uh, I think I did an alright job on it. So let's check all angles now. Here we have one angle, two angles, three angles, four angles, and now this loop is supported from all uh, from all angles. Probably want to move this one a little bit higher. Now some of these supports are not actually anywhere near the ground. But uh, since they're only visible from one angle, um, it still does look like they're uh, touching the ground and supporting the caster. So yeah, that's how to make uh, support for your loops that connect from every angle. Alright, hope this tutorial is useful for you and I'll see you again in the next episode. See you later!